NYU was founded back in 1831, and the idea was to have a private university that had a public university character. Well, the world is globalizing, and so is higher education. Many universities are trying to globalize using internet-based programs, uh, but many of us believe that nothing can replace a personal interaction between a teacher and a student or a colleague and a colleague. Establishing the NYU campus in Shanghai was certainly a natural choice from the point of view of pedagogy, but also from the point of view of development science and interaction between uh, scientists across the world. NYU Shanghai was pushed very strongly by uh, a number of us in the sciences for the reason that China is clearly not just an emerging global superpower, but is also a global scientific superpower. JPRI stands for Joint Physics Research Institute. Uh, that's an institution which unifies uh, research efforts between NYU Shanghai and uh, East China Normal University. A very large part of its mission is to help to integrate the physics departments at ECNU and NYU in New York and NYU Shanghai. The mission of this institute is to build a world-class research institute of physics. The main uh, research area of uh, this institute are atomic, molecular, and optical physics, hard and soft condensed metal physics, laser spectroscopy and uh, precision measurement, and quantum information. This institute is strongly linked to the state key laboratory of precision spectroscopy at the East China Normal University. We are here in Shanghai, the so state key lab for the precision scope, so it's number one in China. We focus on the high precision, high resolution, and high sensitivity. And uh, we focus on this, and uh, we use the laser to do the space scoping. My group is uh, using a uh, very well controlled laser form, waveform, to study the dynamics of the electrons in the atoms, molecules, and also the solid states. We are very open for the international students and the people come here to join us to, to share this international culture of this research here. This is also very good for the uh, high education of the China. It's a new model. I'm an experimental scientist. I spend my time between Shanghai and New York. The new projects here taking place in Shanghai will be focusing on something new, try to build a fluid transistor. So we're trying to use fluid to be the counterpart, controlling heat flux instead of current. Also, we try to create a film of water, but with pure water. Usually, if you want to create a soap film, you need to add soap, surfactant. But in our case, we try to manipulate water differently, try to create a film like that. So we're trying all the tricks to make it happen. My main research is single photon detection and its application. Recently, I just paid more attention to uh, practical detection uh, for laser imaging, imaging, and communication. We just made a 100 channel single photon detector, and based on it, we developed a one 100 beam laser imaging system. We also do some small size photo counting radar, trying to apply them to, to the application in driveless vehicle and uh, tunnel measurements. For the ECNU side, they're really focused on the experimental side of uh, precision spectroscopy. At NYU Shanghai, most of the groups here are doing theory. And in New York, they have a, you know, quite a long tradition of soft matter and other topics uh, along those lines. This sort of brings about you know, really new opportunities to, to collaborate. Uh, of course, as theorists here, you know, we really need uh, experimentalists to, to collaborate with. And uh, the State Key Lab is uh, a very high level um, laboratory within China. NYU Shanghai uh, 
is aiming to be a research-oriented university. The JPI creates lots of opportunities to bring all the faculties from different campuses together. In particular, in this May, we are going to hold an international conference sponsored by JPI. So this international conference uh, has the theme of uh, emerging phenomena in quantum materials. You cannot have scientific health and excellence without an international exchange of scholars and ideas. So together, we can do a lot more than we can do separately. The future for NYU Shanghai is bright. We are creating a pocket of excellence at NYU Shanghai. What I'd like to see is uh, basically this institute be kind of a bridge between the US and China to facilitate more and more research as really China becomes a you know, great kind of research power. To me, I think it's a good thing that we learn from each other and probably we can bring the better part of each other together. So between the seminars, the intern program, the seed funding, and the international uh, conferences, the Institute is really doing its work in bringing these three institutions together. We uh, invited professors from the many, many different uh, institu institutions from the world to come here to discuss, to cooperate the studies in physics. We are planning to continue that momentum and create a full-fledged, uh, research-active, excellent physics department at NYU Shanghai. Mm -hmm.